Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be providing a market update on ApeCoin and going over my thoughts on the price action since my last video on ApeCoin was, was quite a bit ago. So if you are new to the channel and you want to show some support, please leave a like and subscribe. So in the short term, I've identified this pretty general downward resistance where we're seeing how each of the the highs is lower than the previous high. So we have this first initial range of highs um, just under $10, then we have $9, $8.30, and then most recently $7.40. And this general downward pressure on the price action has kind of constrained us in this range here where, where we're seeing how it is very hard for ApeCoin to make some advancements and, and reclaim some, some key levels. So what I would look out for is if we can break um, this shorter term downtrend and start reclaiming some of these lower highs. Because once we're able to do that, close above some of these levels and hold them as support, then we can really start putting in um, a different trend where, where there's less pressure um, from the sellers. And what we really want to see is some sort of new rising structure being developed where, where the, the lows are higher than the consecutively previous lows. So we're already starting to see something like that, um, but, but we really don't have much to go on because we only have two major lows set in place so far. So really what we need to see is um, just give it some time, right? We need some time for this to develop and play out because in the short term, obviously Bitcoin going down you know below thirty thousand dollars has caused a lot of these altcoins you know to be to be under some pretty severe pressure as far as price action goes as we're seeing you know altcoins are are just not able to to hold up in this environment where bitcoin is basically on the edge of of crashing below you know twenty five thousand dollars and each day it's sort of a threat to these altcoins um what bitcoin is going to do and if, if Bitcoin on some random day decides it is going to drop 20%, then these altcoins are easily going to drop you know, 40, 50%. So, so there's a lot of market pressure on altcoins, especially the ones um, that, that maybe don't have as much support. And ApeCoin really doesn't have too much support down here, basically because we are at some all-time lows, right? We've never really seen price action down in these levels except for... The, the May 12th capitulation where we are today and then the initial launch of ApeCoin on this low liquidity hour candle. So it's really important for us to kind of exit this, this range because there's really not a lot of support on the downside. And, and I do believe we will exit this to the upside. I think Bitcoin is going to kind of lighten up a bit, start start trending back up maybe towards $35,000, $40,000 over the next few weeks slowly and altcoins are going to recover and recoup some of those losses um, and i think that once apecoin is able to to break out some of these ranges i think it's going to be set up quite nicely because uh we do have some fundamental news behind apecoin um, if you recall my, my first initial videos were around the 11 12 dollar range and i was talking about this catalyst that would that would be very beneficial for the price action and that was the board ape yacht club uh land sale and and that ended up sort of being um the the sell the news event that caused this major peak here and what we have uh coming up soon is is for that metaverse that that we talked about to be actually launching july 16th so that is coming up um, it not, it's not exactly close, but we do have, you know, a month and a half to go and, and with Bitcoin maybe trending back up and the fundamentals improving behind this project, maybe some utility being delivered, then I think that'll set ApeCoin up nicely for some sort of bounce back up to some of these ranges here, um, say from 12 to 10, to $12. And, and once we get to this level here, um, I, I really think we will, but, but, you know, Assuming that it does, this is going to be key level because, you know, we saw how this was the major support being held um, for pretty much most of April. And once we really kind of left this range, it was it was our, our clear sign that we were ready to go off to a new high. And that we did. We formed this new all-time high at $27 um, moments before the land sale. 
and and that kind of catalyst that news event is is what delivered all this buying pressure and and i think we might be able to see something soon where this this announcement of this metaverse being launched in just one and a half months could potentially bring back some excitement to apecoin seeing as how it's all sort of grouped under the same brand and and really once that kind of is delivered um, people will stop being so silent along this project because I know a lot of people have lost interest mainly because the team Yuga Labs has not, you know, been been the most communicative. They haven't really an announced too much regarding their project and what ApeCoin is going to be used for. Um, as you'll recall, the main utility was was for purchasing land, and and you know, following the land sale, that utility went away. So what we want to see is some sort of utility being delivered and i think that will come within the few um weeks prior to the the actual launch of this metaverse and i believe that you know they have a lot of things they could do with this for, such as like a marketplace um being denominated in apecoin uh holding apecoin and staking it for you know less fees or you know there's a lot of things they could do to incentivize holders and and bring in some buy pressure such as the buy pressure we saw leading up into this um, sort of parabolic peak here so that is the end of the video guys i hope you did enjoy and as always i will see you in the next one